former NBC News host David Gregory is breaking his silence about his public departure from the network last August. His 20-year career at NBC included serving as chief White House correspondent with some motley characters and moderator of Meet the Press. Gregory describes his ouster as publicly humiliating and one of the biggest tests of the faith he worked privately to find and flourish. His quest for a more meaningful and spiritual life is at the center of his new book, How's Your Faith? Published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. David, welcome to Studio 57. Where, where am, what's this eye over my shoulder? Yes. Where am I? <laughs> what is that, what network is this? this table, I know. Uh, with you characters, especially. I know, I know, I mean, I, uh, you know, with some Motley crew, you know, you and you, yeah. and Gail is just an, you know, innocent bystander. There you That's go. Right. David, you know, we, I saw you when you started this journey, which is a long time ago, but tell us about when you first, as you say, got on the bus about your faith. Well, I mean, I think this, this is really the story about the, the larger journey of my life, the journey to answer the question, who am I and what do I believe? And I think that is a spiritual longing that started a long time ago for me at a time when I felt very grateful for my life, for my, my wonderful wife, Beth, and, and our healthy children, and, and a, a career that was going very well when I was covering the White House, and a, and a sense that there had to be something more, that, that it was more expected of me. And I was trying to figure out as I was leading our family as a Jewish family, just what, where the meaning and purpose was in my faith. Mm -hmm. And part of that discussion, I thought, ramped up, too, given what happened at NBC. When I said his abrupt departure, yeah, you sort of thanks. laughed and you said what? Yeah, that thanks was... a lot, Nora. <laughs> you mean <laughs> I've left? <laughs> no, what you said uh, is it was not so It wasn't abrupt. abrupt. Right. I mean, you write really candidly in this book about sort of the bloodletting that went on. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, it was unpleasant. Things happen in television news. We know that. It's a, it's a tough business. Um, and, you know, the only thing I say about it, I don't want to go back and revisit it, is just that uh, it, it was un handled in a way that was unnecessary. Uh, NBC made a business decision, which uh, you can agree with or disagree with. It just didn't need to be handled that way. And the process of it was difficult. And I try to, you know, uh, rather than, than get into the, the, all the nastiness of it, I just tried to internalize what I take away from it, what I could have done a little bit uh, better in terms of, how I treated people so that people might have been rooting for me a little bit more, both within NBC and in the broader community. Yeah, you, you talked very candidly, though, about that you were a hothead, that people saw you as arrogant, mm -hmm. that you were an opportunist out for yourself. And you even said, listen, maybe if I'd given more, I would have received more in the yeah. end. But in the end, you said, David, it was as upsetting as it was. At the end, there was peace for you. Well, right. I mean, there's peace because... Um, as much as I miss the work, as much as I miss covering the stories that you're all talking about um, and doing a great job on the show every morning, um, I don't miss NBC. You don't. Uh, I don't miss being there. It was just uh, the wrong atmosphere for me. And again, Gail, yeah, I mean, I think what I was getting at is, and I worked with Nora a long time. I mean, I think, you know, Nora you was- You missed me, though. I did miss Nora, and <laughs> she, she's frankly a bigger diva than I was. But, uh, <laughs> uh, no, but we- Was we, that a knowing laugh? We, we, know. we, that's that's no, a lot. But, but we had, a, we, but we had, a, we had, a, we had a good relationship. But to be serious, I mean, I really, I do think that, you know, I started in television when I was 25. I was on the air when I was 18. And I think I was so consumed and self-absorbed as this business can, can make you. Uh, that I didn't think enough about communicating to people, hey, what, if I'm doing well, you're doing well, we're yeah. doing this together. And I think uh, so some people were, were uh, not unhappy to see me get some comeuppance. So I think I had to learn something from that. And, and I talk about dealing with anger in the book, but which I think a lot it, of yeah. people share. Yeah. Yeah. But David, you talk about there were the leaks, you know, going on saying that, that David may be out of Meet the yeah. Press. And then you had, you know, the president of NBC saying, no, we stand behind him. And then you found out, you tell the story, it's a page turner. The book is really beautifully written. But you tell the story about how you're on the way to camp to take your son to camp. And all of a sudden in a tweet, you learn. So we were picking up our, our three kids whom you know from sleepaway camp in New Hampshire. This had been building and as we're driving up, NBC was concerned that if they had let me have a last show to thank the audience that um, I was going to somehow go after them and uh, you know what they, they thought about it is an the moment. Ann Curry moment uh, of the Today Show and that they wanted to avoid that. That was never going to happen. So they, they leaked the fact that, uh, that they had made a decision for me to go. Um, you have this here. Uh, so that, that's a reference to the Ann Curry moment. So, uh, you know, 
that was obviously upsetting to see that they had handled it that way. But, but mostly, and I think this goes to the larger point of the book, which is, you know, in a moment like that, there was a real moment of testing. It was not the beginning of my faith journey, but it was a moment to say, well, then who do I want to be in this moment for my kids? What does God expect of me in this moment? Um, who, and who do I ultimately want to be? And that's where I tried to stay above the fray and, and uh, express my thanks no, to the audience. No, but I love your kids saying, are we going to have to move out of our house? And then the other one says, were you fired? And in the end, yeah. they started bickering so you knew your kids would be all right. But I Can I just say something about that? Because this has come up in other interviews, you know, for the record, was I fired? The truth is that I was not going to be fired then, but I felt I was going to be. And it was complicated. I had said to NBC, look, you know, if you don't shore me up, this is Washington, there's blood in the water. If you don't shore me up because leaks that are coming from within NBC are very hurtful to me, it's getting in the way of what we're trying to do for the show. Mm -hmm. So if you're not prepared to do that and they were not prepared to shore me up over the longer term, then I felt it was time for me to go. Can I talk about your wife, Beth, who is a badass? You write about meeting her. She's a <laughs> badass attorney. You said yeah. meeting Beth. She wore a skirt that's long enough to cover essentials, but short enough to be interesting. Yes. And that everybody has an instigator that leads them to faith. And for you, that was Beth. You write in the yeah. chapter Sacrifice that she sacrificed for you. So, I mean, Beth is a beautiful woman, Beth Wilkinson, yeah, and, a, and a fantastic lawyer, as you know. Um, but beyond that, I mean, her influence on me is really why I've gone down this path. Oh. Um, um, she said, if I got emotional, she would whip me. <laughs> so, I was going to uh, say, she's also tough on you, so she's yeah. now going to be... No, no, no. But, but the, the, the thing is that Beth, um, you know, early on made an incredible sacrifice to become a Jewish family and said to me, look, I know who you are Jewishly. I know you're culturally Jewish, ethnically Jewish, but what is it that and you she believe? Was not Jewish, no. uh, and she screw up as a, as a Protestant. But I don't think, I think I was selfish in this regard that I don't recognize what a, what a big sacrifice that was for her to give up her traditions and to share that with our kids. And uh, it's something I've, I've tried to recognize more over time. Sounds like you've learned a lot of lessons, David Gray. Trying, I'm trying. Yeah. Not, not all the way there yet, but still working. You're doing great. We all are. Thank you, David. Can I mention my website, too, to get more about the book? <laughs> david no, no, you may not. How's your you're face? Not. I know how television works. 30 Tuesday. seconds only means the loosely TV 30 show seconds. The talk. David, time to check your local weather. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs>